of the Eagles, even though Philly still has the best record in football. They're followed by the 10 and 4 Saints and Rams. So, Greg, who will win the NFC? The Minnesota Vikings. Homer. You can call it what you want <laughs> to. Homer. Didn't he play for the Vikings? I did. He played there, lives there now. I did. And I talk, I talk Green Bay so much, and I, I don't really talk about this, this Minnesota Vikings team. But when you look at, when you look at the body of work, you talk about winning some ball games. Look, this, this team has, they know how to win, and they win against great competition. Rob Parker. No, no, no. I like their defense I, I, and what they've done. Absolutely. I'm not going to rip on this. Defensively, yes. if we just talk about defensively what this team is, they're special. I mean, they're number two overall in total defense, number three in pass defense, second in run defense. The defense, they, they're stifling. They're, they're, one, they're probably, the, in my opinion, the most athletic across-the-board defense that you will find in the league. Are they better right? than Jacksonville defensively? I'm not saying they're no, better than saying Jacksonville de defensively. I'm saying more athletic across the board. Yes, and then I go to their offense. Offensively, they're better than Jacksonville. Offensively, they're they're not bad. They're really good. They're top ten in all categories. That's why Case Keenum's still the quarterback. That, exactly, and and to that point, Case Keenum is no longer. We, let's 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 eliminate this backup talk. Case Keenum is a starter in this league. When you talk about what he's done, his productivity, sixty-eight percent completion percentage. That's that's second behind Drew Brees. Uh, Ninety-eight. Almost 99 uh, QBR. That's eighth best. 20 TDs to seven interceptions. You know who? You know who he's uh, out scoring the that? touchdowns. Matt Ryan, MVP last wow. year. Ryan's you know who? Come back you know whose completion percentage he's higher than? Tom Brady, your favorite. Well, the I goat. figured that. There you I'm, go. You mean Loach. <laughs> the GOAT. <laughs> Luckiest of all time. The Loach. When, but when I look at this Minnesota Vikings team, they have everything you are looking for in a Super Bowl potential championship team, offensively, defensively, and they get it done with special teams. This is a very disciplined special teams group. They understand what their, their game plan is, their focus is. And to top it all off, the topper for me is Mike Zimmer. He is, he is in my opinion, the Bill Belichick of the NFC. Oh, that's a that's a big uh, yes, tall order. Look, look, let come me on, come, come on. on. Yeah, telling, come on. We'll give you time order. to take when, that back. When, no, 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 no. Walk when, it back. Bill Bill no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to walk it back. When I look at Mike's, there is no coach in this league that really looks at Bill Belichick and says, "I don't care who you are, what you do, what you've done." Mike Zimmer has that mentality, and it's infectious, and it goes through that that entire organization. Mike Zimmer is the reason why this Minnesota Vikings organization is even worth talking about. When he walked into that building, he shifted and changed the culture of the way they thought. It was, let's beat the Green Bay Packers. Mike Zimmer comes in there. It's, we're going to win championships. And this may be the first time we see a home team host the Super Bowl. Just <laughs> well, you saying. all in. I'm all in. All, all in, in, brother. All in. Um, look, I like Minnesota. Every, for everything you said, especially that defense. I like two teams in the NFC better, though. New Orleans. And I, I, when I pick my one team, it's the Rams. It's the Rams. I think they have more of them. You mean the team that Minnesota beat? Okay, go ahead. In regular season. It happens all the time. All right, the L.A. Rams, best offense in the league right now because now Carson Wentz is down, best offensive in, in the league. Defense is stout. We know it's anchored by Aaron Donald. The defense is tough, too. Offensively, though, they got the running game with Gurley, which is obviously he's one of the best backs in the league. The passing game is so special to me because golf spreads it out. It's not just one main guy that he's always going to. It could be Cooper Cup. It could be Robert Woods. He'll go to Gurley. Sammy Watkins is obviously there. I mean, that versatility, most of the best teams, this one main guy, you know, and a couple of other, other ones behind him, but they got more versatility. So, I mean, that balance, like Minnesota's defense is great. The offense is okay, pretty good, okay. pretty good, okay. pretty good. It ain't is the it Rams. special? It's not special. The Rams' offense is special, and their defense is better than Minnesota's offense is. I think their defense is pretty good. 
Speechless. You speechless. Wow. I speechless. left you. I wow. left you speechless. Rob Blue. Wow. wow. You ain't got nothing to say. There you go. I, I, I should. Other than they beat him in the regular season. Go ahead, Rob. That was it. Go ahead, Rob. <laughs> and again, your point to Minnesota. I, I'm, I'm with not you. Hate. Love the defense. They're obviously in contention in the NFC. I mean, they really are. And Case Keenum has played really, really well. And uh, that's why Teddy Bridgewater didn't go back in. Yeah. There's no reason. You, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, mm-hmm. right? Everything was rolling, even though Bridgewater's a uh, uh, starting quarterback. He's healthy. They didn't, they didn't wind up going back there. Now, the Rams, I like the Rams. Exciting what they're doing. I just don't think that they're ready to take that next step. Uh, with Atlanta? I mean, teams. No, no, no I, I get jump. it, but I'm just saying. I still look and see the Lambs, not the Rams, but they they have. <laughs> you have a name, man. <laughs> I, I can't keep it straight. <laughs> but but I do like yes. what they I do like what they've done, and they've had an unbelievable season. So so they 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 were in the mix, and then the Eagles. Everybody ready after Carson Wentz got injured. We're ready to jump off. Okay, it's all over. We got to wait till next year. But Nick Foles is a good quarterback. He really is. And, and I think that, uh, you know, they're not going to just disappear because of the injury. Most teams don't have, you know, you're only as good as your backup quarterback in, in the NFL. That's, that's how good you are. Right. Who, 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 who's, who's, who's your, who's your team? We, okay, I'm going who's with your whatever. team? Is and it I'm the Saints. I'm not feeling it, no. But actually, it's Carol- the Carolina oh, Panthers. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to tell go. you this. Huh? They've won six of their last seven. Their signature win was up in Foxborough when they beat the Patriots, and they they rush the football. They're fourth best in the league, so they can run the ball. It's not all the Cam uh, Newton show, even though Cam in the last five games has been playing in some of his best football. He had 11 to touchdowns and one pick. I don't care what, about like yards. Five of the last I'm talking six about it's about scores that win game, not yards. So you're right. He's not throwing for a lot of yards, but he's being productive. 11 touchdowns, one pick. And I think the pressure's off of them. That year they were 15-1 and one and Super Bowl. Now this is wide open. They can come and just play. And there's nobody that should scare you in the NFC where, oh, we can't beat this team or we can't beat that team. I think that works in their favor and that they've had experience going and playing, you know, in the postseason and making a run and getting to the Super Bowl. They could draw off of that. So if they finish strong like they have when it's six or seven, and, and Cam continues to do what he does and doesn't make the mistakes. I like the Panthers. I think they have a shot to get there. So you say you got to score. You got to be able to put up points, right? Yes. So I got this stuff. Ten out of the 14 games that the Vikings have played, they've allowed less than 20 points in those games. They've only allowed 30 points twice this year, one being – to your Carolina Panthers uh, a couple uh, of weeks ago. There you go. That's Absolutely. what I'm talking about. You're right. You're Give right. It up. But when I look at them in Carolina, when I look at the Minnesota Vikings and I look at what they don't do well, I'm still looking. I'm still, I'm still looking at what they don't do well. You name me one thing that the Minnesota Vikings don't, Minnesota Vikings don't do well. And this is without, this is a team that if, if we, if we said, that this is a team that is run with Teddy Bridgewater. If I listed off all these stats that Case Keenum has, and this was either Sam Bradford or Teddy Bridgewater at the helm, we would say Minnesota Vikings are the favorite. This is a team that is without their number one running back, Dalvin Cook, a, young, a rookie albeit. We've seen what these running backs has been able to do early in, in their rookie season. This team is special. They are well coached. They play within their own system. They don't fear going on the road. They, you, you don't want to play them at home. This is just a well, sound football team, rounded football team that has, has won some tough games, lost some tough games, understands what it takes to win. They go up against the baddest man in football twice a year and Aaron Rodgers. They, they get it. This team gets it, and I think it's their time. I know you played there. Are there still deferred payments coming your Look, way? Look, <laughs> let me tell you, I, I think played, you're overstating the me, offense a I little bit. I played there. I got cut by the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I know you did. So I, I have no, there's no love. I mean, no, no, I, right. I I'm, not, I'm not showing them all this love for no reason now or because they, they're paying me. Or, no, no, no. But and, and to your point, you're saying I'm overstating their offense. A little bit. 
No, when you when, look, look at their You're numbers. You're talking about it their like it's special. Their tenth, I'm not saying it's spe- They don't have to be special. That's my point. With that defense, They don't have to be not. special. They're tenth in the league in scoring. Just don't make with a big that, mistake. That's with not them. fantastic. Under, exactly. They don't have to be fantastic. This is what. This is my point. Thank you, sir. When when no, you have I'm a saying, defense, you're talking about like look. But you got to score today. Yes. And and if if I if I had to say, can they score? They can score, but do they need to score? They don't. Why? Because their defense is just that good. You're not going to score on their defense, and they're not asking Case Keenum and their offense to put up 30 plus points a game, 25 plus points a game. We just need you really. If you get to 19, 20, somewhere around, we got the rest. The, we're saying that we're not going to allow the our opponent to get 20 points a game. That's not what they do. You tell me a team that's that's doing that in the NFC. Rams going to go over 20 if they meet it again. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad Rams. you said again. No, I'm glad you said again. Wonder. I, w- I wanted to listen to what you said, but I was too busy trying to take a photo of the monitor of the three box of all three of your faces where Greg is like this, Rob, you're like, and Chris is like, oh. it was tremendous. I'll share it with you. I mean, I'm, I'm you're passionate gonna... about this. And I exactly. like it. Yeah. I like I mean, it. I'm, I'm and you're looking, being fair. You're right. You have no reason. I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking lose. at my phone. I got people telling me, man, slap Rob Parker. <laughs> 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 Who is that, my, your, my ex-wife on your phone? <laughs> it's your mom. I don't know. All right. Should the Cavs be worried about Isaiah Thomas messing with their chemistry? Jason McIntyre joins the debate next. Rob, Uh-oh. slide on over.